Jensen. Yeah. It's about being a rebirther. Good. Because I notice that I get triggered when I, when the rebirthing uh, has enormous uh, reaction, and I'm really in doubt if I have to, to, uh, to interrupt the 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 ex the, the the what do you call it the reaction, or just let the person go through it time by time, even if it takes a long long time. And I really feel triggered, and I feel, am I good enough as a rebirther, or do I have to interrupt it, or can you guide me, or what? I know what it's about inside, but <coughs> when I'm a rebirth, I have to be focused on, on the person, so what to do then? When you rebirth her, you have to be focused on you. Yeah. So that's it. <laughs> <laughs> And if I feel very discomfort, then I have to do something, not to... Yeah. No, you just have to look at her. Okay. The discomfort you're feeling is a, a memory that's still in your system. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because when you've released all your blocks, you can just watch the grass grow. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Right. It doesn't matter what the other person is going through. They can go through absolute hell. Mm -hmm. And you just feel this ecstatic love while they're going through it, which is actually the most helpful thing. It's not to say you don't do anything, but you don't do it from, I think I should do something, or I have to somehow stop this huge response or release, because we're afraid. And it's your fear that you need to look at. I have noticed that. You could say a rule of thumb is get back to peace and then you'll know what to do. And you may not be able to do that in the session, of course. So it's probably better just to stay with yourself and uh, maybe even do some energy tapping for yourself to get you back to presence. I need do nothing. But if the person is not breathing the way you teach us, do we have to guide them or keep them in that breathing or just let it be chaos or what, what to do? Then? Yeah. Well, I can't ask a, answer a question like that because I can't be in that particular moment because every moment is, is unique. Yeah. Um, there is no one answer to that question. To know whether to invite the person to breathe or to allow them to do what they're doing is a very subtle decision. Yeah. And this only comes from you working with yourself, right, more and more. It may be inviting them to breathe through their nose to integrate it, or it may be allowing it just to happen just the way it is, or it may be saying, please open your eyes, look at me, see that you're supported, and breathe. It could be any of those things. And it's very, very subtle. As I say, get back to peace first, and then you'll know what to do. Of course. Love always knows what to do. Of course. If you think you're coming from ego, then practice I need do nothing. I've also found that the tapping on these two spots here, <coughs> you know, the right in there, or these spots, can help take the, the top off the intensity. I've noticed this that works very well. So you could do that without interrupting their process. The process may be going just fine. It may look yeah. like a volcano exploding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It may be exactly what they need to do.